Get out of here, stupid hornet. Thinks I'm a flower. Jeez. Welcome back to the Rock and Roll Rock Hound, folks. My name is Rick. Glad you can join us. Yesterday, we went for a little rock hounding trip, and I forgot my phone. So, I just want to show you what we got. There's a lot of cool stuff. We'll do a closer look, but I just wanted to give you a quick little scan. Lots of agate. Look at that. Oh man. So we'll put these in some water. We'll have a closer look at them. I'm pretty excited to look at some of these. I haven't really had a close look. I just dumped them out onto the table here. So got some beach glass, got some beautiful agate, some banded iron. So we'll have a quick look at them and then I will take some nice pictures for you to enjoy better. And if I can talk in between the crows because there's about four of them around right now and they're all decide to have a big conversation. So we won't go through all of these in the video. I'll take some uh, pictures and have a nice slideshow at the end for you. So let's start with this beauty. I did not expect to find this one. This thing is gorgeous, huge nodule. See the banding in there a little bit? And the one that Penny found. Beautiful. I thought this one was really neat. A bit of unikite. The green is epidote. The red is feldspar. And it's usually formed on kind of a granite type rock. That one was pretty cool looking. This one's neat looking too. I don't know what it is though. It's definitely got some banding in it, I think. Worth a slice anyway. Yep, very cool. Here's some banded iron. This one I'll have to cut open to see if it goes deeper. It's a big old nodule of something. We're hoping there's agate in it. Could be a druzy pocket in there. It's hard to tell when it's wet. And... So since that's on both sides, I'm thinking it goes right through. We'll have to see once we get it cut open. I think she might be pretty cool. Here's a nice nodule. And basalt. Have to see how that goes when we cut her open. This is just a piece of driftwood, but I thought it was pretty cool. A lot of green in this, could be copper in it. I just noticed that nodule up here and it... Stuff like that catches my eye, you never know.
There's lots of uh, epidote and unikite where I go. But every once in a while you see one that just catches your eye. And we'll have a look at this guy here. Look at all the eyes in that. Wow. Oh. Awesome. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll take some pictures and um, hope you enjoy the rest of the slideshow. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It always helps. And I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Wait, one more rock. Look at the purple in this. How cool is that? That's wild. Beautiful. All right, enjoy this live show.
So these are mostly the rocks that made it through uh, the cut. A lot of them were just junk and they weren't, there was nothing really in them. This one I didn't touch. I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm gonna throw it in the vibratory tumbler because I don't know if how deep those bands go. So I wouldn't risk it. So just in the vibratory tumbler and see what happens. I'll have to clean it up first. And rather than looking at them twice and then watching the slideshow, why don't we just do a slideshow? So something very cool about this rock on the bottom here, you can see that really shiny stuff. It's it's blue in color. I don't know, no idea what that would be. Um, I was thinking calico pyrite, but that's usually like a rainbow of colors, not just blue. So it's on the outside too. Very strange. If anybody knows what that is, leave it in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the beautiful agates and the weird type of agates that we get here. We get a wide variety of agates. So thanks for watching guys.